20 land transactions should be further investigated while 19 others be cancelled. Those are the findings of the task force set up by the Federal Territories Ministry to investigate some 97 questionable land transactions done through Kuala Lumpur City Hall. Speaking at a press conference on Thursday, Minister Khalid Abdul Samad gave an update on the 19 land transactions that should be cancelled. Dari pada 19 ini, 10 telah pun ditamatkan. We call the developer, the developer kata okay, kita beri balik tanah tu, you beri balik duit kami. So we've done that, so 10 settle. 8 lagi, dia nak runding balik. Dia kata okey lah, you jangan batal, kita bincang lah. Eh? Apa yang you tak puas hati, kita bincang, kita runding balik, kita readjust. Ada satu yang telah dibatalkan dan pihak syarikat telah bawa kes ke mahkamah. Wabi, ada ataupun boleh komen tentang pelibatan sebab ada laporan daripada Wabi Hanayu, pelibatan bekas Menteri Wilayah dan Tuan 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 tentang uh, kes transaksi. Hmm. Uh, saya difahamkan bahawa uh, apa ni, dalam beberapa kes lah, dalam beberapa kes saya tak boleh nak sebut yang mana yang spesifik biar biar pihak SPRM yang uh, lakukannya ianya memang atas uh, arahan uh, bekas Menteri Wilayah secara direct lah. Khalid added that the 43 land transactions could proceed as the task force found that City Hall had basis for them to continue. As the transactions are still under investigation, if any elements of fraud is found, City Hall will cancel them and take back the land. The task force is only to find out if the land deals benefited the government.